Everything heavy when we step up. You can't hang with a gang, you are solo. Yeah, everything check, Constella. Welcome beautiful people, I am Chef B. If you're new to this channel, welcome Wagwan. Make sure you are subscribed down below. Now today's video is going to be all about this unit that I received from westkiss.com. And for this video, I did a full installation, customization, all that good stuff. Because I feel like it's been a while since I actually had to customize a unit. So I'm just going to show you guys in full details how I installed this wig. Now this wig came a tad bit too small for my head. I got a medium cap and um, I usually go for a cap size of 22.5 but um, I could have gotten away with a size a large so that it could actually fit on the corners. So the corners were a bit short so I had to like finesse the side a little bit where I only glued like the very front instead of like doing my usual stuff. So this side was full but this side was on the shorter side so i'm just going to show you guys how you can finesse the wig if it doesn't come exactly to your head measurement um this unit is in 26 inches it is 150 percent density and i am loving the curls the curls are super soft i didn't experience any shedding with the hair i did pluck i had to pluck it because the knots were dark and i had to put a bit of makeup in the parting to make it look a little bit more natural so it doesn't have like a full wiggy look so i had to do all of that stuff but i'm gonna show you it's gonna be all in the video so i'm gonna stop rambling but before we get into the video you want to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel okay make sure you're subscribed and so you can be a part of the family you feel me and um yeah without further rambling let's get straight into the video Okay guys, jumping straight into the video. As I said, this hair is from westkiss.com and I had this hair for quite some time. After I took it out of the package, I washed the hair and then I just had it laid around. So it looks kind of crazy right now, but don't worry, it's gonna look all the way together once I'm done. So I got the hair in 26 inches and it is in a 150% density. It is a deep wavy full lace frontal. So as you guys can see, the frontal is really dense. It's so thick and we need to get that to look at least a little bit more natural. Like we can't have the frontal looking that thick. It's gonna look hella wiggy. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I pluck and customize my frontal. I'm a lazy type of girl when it comes to wigs. I like it to be easy and convenient. So I'm not gonna put too, too, too much, like full, full effort into this. I'm just showing you guys the lazy girl method. So what I wanna do is make sure that the very front and the middle part looks natural and customized. So I'm just gonna show you guys the direction in which I pluck the unit. So I did about a couple of sections of this plucking. Like as you guys can see, I just keep making thin rows and then I pluck the hair downwards. Now, once I'm done plucking, obviously you're gonna have shedding in the hair. So I'm gonna need to wash the hair again to make sure that I get as much of the loose hair out. So I'm just gonna brush it out or comb it out rather. And instead of just using a spray bottle to just re-wet it, I want the hair to have back its full form of defined curliness. So I'm just gonna wash it and put some conditioner in it and then wash it out. So this is what the hair looks overnight after I make it dry by air drying. And look how beautiful and soft and luscious the curls are. Guys, I didn't put anything at all in the hair. I didn't use any mousse. I didn't use any type of oil. This is just the hair after it's washed and I left it to air dry on the mannequin head. So it is looking hella shiny and just soft. Now I'm gonna be using like a foundation powder, um, a NYX foundation powder, and I'm just gonna put that on the lace. If you have lace tint, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, my complexion changes throughout the season, so Unless I have different color lace tints, which I don't have, I should get some in different shades. Um, 
it might look weird so i'm using the foundation powder that i think best matches me at this moment um in terms of like when i'm done wearing my makeup or applying my makeup all that good stuff y'all get the gist of it so um i'm going to be installing this wig using the got to be freezing spray as i said in the beginning of the video the wig came a little bit small especially on the left side so i'm going to be finessing this wig to look like i actually did like the full frontal installation and this also is the lazy girl method if you don't even feel like gluing down your entire frontal you can just glue it down as if it was a closure and i do that a lot of times because i ain't got time to be gluing down and taking off wigs and all that so what i do is i just do the center i just spray the got to be freezing spray on the center of the frontal and then use my blow dryer to dry it and just cut off the excess lace and leave it as is so if you're doing a center part you can do that if you're doing a side part just do that part of the parting or part of the frontal that will actually show and i do that all the time so if you're a lazy type of girl like myself that's the trick that's basically how you finesse it because unless it's a super windy day don't chance it but if it's not um you can get away with just doing whichever part of the frontal is actually going to be shown so i'm just taking the scissors to cut out the extra lace and then um, i'm going to spray some more got to be freezing spray but instead of spraying it directly on the hair because obviously it's going to be wet it might lift it before it actually tack it down so i use just a little bit and then i tie it down with a molding wrap so that it can dry while i style the hair now this hair came free parting meaning there wasn't any parting in the hair so i had to make the center part so obviously one side is a little bit lumpy so i'm just gonna try to get it to be flat now you can use a hot comb if you have a hot comb to do that i couldn't find my hot comb so i'm gonna be using some mousse to comb the hair down in the um direction that it needs to be flat in so i'm just gonna keep doing that and then i'm just gonna add some pump it up spritz also which will help to keep it flat because when you use pump it up spritz the hair is going nowhere it stays laid then i'm going to use some some um oil in the hair i always use this oil on my wigs it's super soft it's lightweight it doesn't weigh down the hair i got it at walmart and it dries very nicely on the hair it just leaves the hair looking really shiny without being overdone and just effortless and beautiful so i'm just gonna add that um all over the hair and then i'm gonna take a white teeth comb to just fluff the hair because i want the hair to look a little bit more big um with its natural defined curls and that's basically about it with styling this hair once it's washed out and you actually leave it to air dry without using much of anything else the hair is so beautiful now i'm going to be using some la girl pro concealer in the shade fawn to just put on the parting so i'm just going to dab that in just to help cover the dark knots and yeah basically just going to use a tail comb and rub that in there so you guys are going to see me do that so it's just dabbing and then using your fingertips to massage it in clean it up and just to get it to look a little bit more natural and you want to be careful you don't want your parting to look too wide and then you just dab some in the very front as well just to get it to blend with your complexion or whatever shade makeup you are wearing Then I'm going to use a little bit of the got to be, not got to be, this is the pump it up. I use a little bit of the pump it up to get the hair to lay in the direction that I need it to lay. And also it get, gets rid of that powdery look on the lace as well. And yeah, that is basically it. Now guys, this is the finished product. Look how beautiful the hair is once it is fully dried. Even with the oil in there, it doesn't weigh down. Look how soft. The hair looks, it is absolutely beautiful. I love the texture of it. I love how long it is for 26. Like it's looking like the perfect length that I need it to be. Girl, I am feeling it. 
All the details that you need to know about this unit will be in the description box for you guys. It's 26 inches, 150% density. And yeah, that is basically it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at damn.chef. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Go on, big up on yourself. Bye, guys. Everything heavy when we step up. You can't hang with a gang, you a fellow. Yeah, everything check, come Stella. Let me bag it 